Okay, what's up guys? Welcome to another TMBYN video. Now, defending Keemstar. Now, first things first, because I know people are going to probably be wondering, like, overall what race I am. I should do, like, a face reveal video. Some of you guys might already know who I am. But, um, yeah. So, uh, defending Keemstar. But first things first, I am black. I'm not white. I'm, you know, I don't want people to think like I'm overall being racist or um so I, I don't know i feel like somebody there's a lot of conspiracy theories that can go on when something gets published or it's put put out there and things so overall i just need to say that first things first okay and to kind of just open the eyes for people where it's like there's this man has done some dirt in his days i feel like we all have our like past in history that we are ashamed of that we wish people didn't overall get to experience with us and we overall just wish that that type of behavior that we displayed is not out there but um it is and overall we just have to do enough good in this world so stuff like that it's not even compared to the amount of good that we have done so anyways that's why i'm doing this video defending keemstar more so, and then also talking about uh, the whole thing yesterday with his, uh, look, well, not, I wouldn't really say his fans, but haters, haters, um, had had it trending. It got to the point where it was trending, and I'm looking around like, dang, what did Keemstar, Keemstar definitely said the N-word again. He definitely said it again. How is it that he's trending? But then also, I'm sitting here thinking that there's been so many times where uh people have been trending on twitter and it's been like oh uh freaking keemstar is over party or ariana grande is over party or uh who else um what are some other um barack obama is over party like you see that all the time you see that every day where it's like something um somebody is over party so i seen that yesterday with keemstar i'm doing like all this search around just seen a bunch of cringy fan cam uh videos um, and a lot of stuff that just wasn't even making any sense. And then I'm like, okay, well, I went down, went to his Twitter account, I didn't see anything there. Watched the last episode of uh, Drama Alert, didn't hear or see anything there besides him getting a crazy amount of dislikes. But yeah, I didn't see what had happened. So I'm like, and I did like, I spent like at least like an hour just like going back and forth. Like besides like working on my own YouTube stuff, like I was also like checking in and seeing like something is going to come out. Something is going to be said, like he's going to have to apologize or like I'm going to overall figure it out. And I seen nothing. So overall, like that's what I'm probably going to be like. I feel like that's the first thing I need to ask. What did Keemstar do? on april 3rd of 2020 because i'm like i don't know when this video will overall come out but i just need to know like what did he do because i'm like i'm i'm confused on why his name was trending and it was even no real reason why his name was trending and i'm guessing maybe it has something to do with the fan cam uh stuff because i know he's displayed his hatred towards it i feel like a lot of people hate fan cam videos i know i do like and that's where i'm like i don't really care about the artists that they're posting and things like they're not overall doing anything wrong and if they're promoting this and if they're telling their fans to keep doing this then yeah then they're doing something wrong but i, I don't know i don't really pay attention to like k-pop artists and things but their fans are so annoying i mean when you click on something that's trending and it can be from a person dying or uh, something major going on in the world, or you know, like something's overall happening, right? You click on it on what's trending, then you start seeing these like K pop videos of like these artists singing and dancing around, and I'm like, I'm not looking for that. I don't care about that. I'm overall trying to figure out why is Keemstar trending, and then I'm over here seeing fan cam videos. I don't care about them fan cam videos. I'll tell y'all right now, I hate those fan cam videos. Them K-pop fans are seriously the most annoying fan base that I've ever like that I've ever I've I've had my fair share of arguments with them because I'm like something's like really wrong with you guys like y'all are and I remember there was uh, I remember there was like the one girl was uh, girl guy whoever they were uh, overall trying to explain to me why they were sharing those videos but I'm like you guys are doing this for views that's it. That's that's the only reason why you guys are doing this. I've seen numerous times where them guys have posted like, oh yeah, my fan cam. I think yeah, I seen it not too long ago. The one girl 
or guy, whoever, they was all like, oh, my fan cam video doesn't have enough views and put it across some trend that had absolutely nothing to do with that trend. So that's where I'm like, I don't understand why you guys cannot just stay in your lane, stop getting involved in everybody else's lane, promote your fan cam videos on your own time. Like, if people, like, yeah, if overall everybody carried on like that, everybody would have hundreds of thousands of millions of views. But you guys have, but that, that's not the way, like, people don't overall operate like that. People don't do that type of stuff because they will realize how annoying it is and they will realize the amount of hate that they got. Imagine if I was taking my channel, and this is something that overall, I remember I did do that before. I did it with my friends. I was, like, on one of my other channels. I worked on some music, told all my, like, was telling all my friends about it, sending them messages and things. It's overall frustrating, and it's a waste of time. I would rather, and I was talking about that thing on my podcast where I'm like, I want any views that I get to happen naturally. I don't want it to where I have to wait until Barack Obama is trending to post my videos or wait until, uh, what else? I don't have to wait until any of that stuff. I honestly, I encourage people to do that from now on. When K-pop is trending, we should just create our own fan cam videos. Whoever we're a fan of, we just probably like, oh yeah, like K-pop fans, until you guys learn how to stay in your lane, then that's when we'll get back in our lane. But it's like, now we're just going to be some full-on road ragers. We ain't going to, like, no, we ain't going to let this K-pop world shine in you. Because it's like, look, you guys got your fans, you, or you guys got your, like, you know, everything that y'all got going for yourselves. I don't know why you feel like you got to, like, push off all of that content on us, and we don't overall care about it. We don't. Not at all. So if it's the K-pop fans hating on Keemstar, you guys brought all that stuff on yourself by waiting until something is trending and then you... I click on something right now and see a fan cam video. Bet money I will. Bet money... Okay, Dasani. Because they got Shane Dawson. Bet money I'm going to see a fan cam video. Okay, okay. Some memes, videos. There, there we go. There we go. And it's like they will overall talk about what is trending the uh the sunny water they overall would like tweet about it but then they'll post a fan cam video and it's like nobody cares we're overall trying to figure out why the sunny water is trending so yeah k-pop fans you brought all that stuff on yourself all right so you cannot be mad at keemstar for overall defending people that you know they're trying to have their moment with trending but then y'all are ruining it and then if it's about the situation where he said the n-word all that time ago y'all gotta let that go there's probably people that we know that we hang out with on a day-to-day -day basis that said the N-word, and they're not going to overall tell anybody. So if that's the reason, let it go. And if it's him reporting on news, let it go. That's his job. He's making money. I overall know that Keemstar has a kid, and whatever he has to do to, do to provide for his kid and stuff, that's all that matters. I can care less what Keemstar does in reality. That man, and it's like, it's to me, I don't see him as a bad guy. I don't. I watch all his uh, um, drama alert videos, unless it's like an interview of a YouTuber that I don't really know about. Then I'm just like, all right, Keemstar, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to have to miss out on this video. But um, yeah, I, I don't see a problem with Keemstar at all. So over, like, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to hate on that man for any reason whatsoever. It's just, it's a waste of time to hate on people. So Keemstar, you got my love and support. Continue providing for your family. Um, whatever you're doing, keep doing it, bro. Uh, you actually inspired me to create this channel, TMBYN, because, yeah, it's like to overall, like, kind of just give your opinion on news and reporting on that. I, you know, wanted to do it myself. So, um, yeah, the, if the biggest inspiration behind this channel, it's um, Keemstar. It's Drama Alert. And all I have to say, it's like one of, that's, in my eyes, probably the best news channel on YouTube. You'll learn a lot from that. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Keemstar, you got my you got my love, you got my support, you got my blessings. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. But anyways, I am missing WrestleMania. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and uh, peace.